guys, it's me Naya and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to Alan Wake 2 Part 2. Jeez, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> it's like Alan Wake 2 Part 2. Anyway, uh, it is honestly like, what time is it? It is honestly like 4 in the morning right now when I'm filming this. Everybody stay calm! What? I know, it's insane. But I wanted to play more of this game <laughs> before I go get some sleep. But um, yeah, so let's go get into the game. Alright, we are picking right back off where we left off. Okay, after the craziness that happened. Um, well, yeah, we were attacked by a dead man. What was up with that? There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. <laughs> this was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Bit. Now we can figure out a way forward. Yeah, what happened to the sheriff? Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. Yeah, because I don't think, even in the first game, I mean, at least, I never finished it, so I don't know, but I don't remember anybody ever just, like, disappearing in thin air in that game. Okay. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Mm. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe... We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Talk to Casey. Okay, now we have to look around for clues. There's one of the pages on that? the floor. Oh, is that the Thornton guy that was working These with us? These pages are important. Breaker dropped one before he disappeared. Jeez. I can't believe they just, he just killed everybody in here like in three seconds. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale. Into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. It honestly still makes me chuckle that our name is Saga. <laughs> like I just never heard anybody be named that before. <laughs> okay, so this is the manuscript page. Saga pursues Nightingale. Okay. Saga fights Nightingale with light. The message. Huh? What am I reading here? I don't understand. This is the message? Oh, are these the, um, the manuscript pages? Ah, yeah. Wait, no, go back to the case board. Okay, let's see what we got. Because I don't want to have, like, a thousand things to put in at once. Nightingale attacked A dead us. man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Or just a bit. <laughs> I feel like this other one is the Cauldron Lake Murders. Is it? I was gonna say it's solved, but I guess we still don't know who killed him. Who left these? Left these is what? This. This is what I need. The Bookers describe multiple attacks wearing attackers. I can't read. <laughs> multiple attackers wearing deer masks, chanting and tearing into the guy with knives. <sighs> well, this has to be under the killer profile, right? Or no, would it be under murder method? Let's see. It's not even giving me the option to put under murder method, so it has to be under killer profile. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. What's this one? Oh, it just says case closed. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. Just a bit. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. What's wrong with her? She's excited? Somebody died. No, we need this one. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Eh. I don't know if I want to know more. <laughs> hey, what's all this stuff under here? We've been taking all these clues this whole time. Okay, wait. Casey, the cult of the tree. Is performing rituals to create monsters. Okay. Well, what does that go under? Cult. Oh, I guess the cult goal it would go underneath. I don't have an explanation for this. How are they doing this? What the hell is going on here? Okay. Victim's body. I think that would go up under what kind of cult? <sighs> okay, or not. I mean, it's under. What is it? Yeah, because of the writing. Yeah, they're writing part of the ritual. Well, I don't know. Um, 
I feel like the deer would have to be underneath the... Does the deer mask not go underneath who's involved? That's not right. Okay, or not. <laughs> what kind of cult, I guess? More of the mask? I feel like I did this already. Maybe I'm imagining things. <sighs> How am I doing this so wrong? <laughs> okay, under cult symbols. And then for here, Nightingale is the only victim to become a monster. Yeah, what ha what's up with that? It's trying to put it over here. I think it's trying to show me where to put it. Um, Nightingale only victim to become a monster. Why? <clears throat> I think she's becoming annoyed with me. <laughs> um. Wouldn't believe if I hadn't seen it in my own eyes. No need to dig into this. There must be an explanation. I don't know if there is. Um. I feel like it goes under what kind of cult, right? Yeah. And then what's this? The radio. Fall you into the dark. I don't know if I want to hear this. I'm supposed to be going to bed tonight. This game's going to give me nightmares. <laughs> oh, I think this is the song that played at the end of the last chapter. We don't need to hear that again. Um, where was that? Oh, I thought we picked something up. If you are stuck or unsure how to proceed, don't forget to check the mine place, okay? We're supposed to be looking for clues, right? How are we not called for backup or anything? Like, this should be a big deal. Like, a man literally just rose from the dead and killed, like, three people. And we're just standing here looking for clues, just the two of us. The heart is gone, too. Oh, is it? Did the fuck take it with him? <laughs> he said, I want my heart back. What is that? I don't even know how to open up my weapons or anything like that. What's in here? Can't be opened on this side. Okay. Then we shall go to the other side. Um. Also, how did I get out of here before it was through this way? We should be able to uh, inspect the thing over here. No. What, what happened here? I don't know. Should we be able to be able to inspect this person, right? Or no? I don't think so. Wait, what's this? Oh, we still can't. I don't think it's I can't open. get yeah, through we this. We still can't open the door. Ooh, why are there locked doors in a hospital? That's kind of weird. Um, well, let's look at the Mind Palace place again. I don't know why I keep calling it Mind Palace. What well, doesn't look like I have anything new? Oh, am I supposed to do something in here? Manuscript pages. What's this on the wall? Certificate of what? The Mile High Strangler case. Proud of that one. Certificate of Mer meritorious achievement <laughs> oh not often you see that word oh these in the manuscript we already read these we've had them read to us also oh maybe we need to do profiling on him oh there's nothing new okay what am i supposed to be doing it says to check the mind palace oh my goodness i keep saying mind palace the mind place if you're lost or stuck. My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. <laughs> but I'm I'm stuck and it's not helping me. I can't upgrade my weapon. If only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy Casey is. <laughs> I don't think I can upgrade my weapon because it's only we only have three of those little pieces. I can't believe we need 18 and 12. I hope we're not gonna have to fight anything until then, because otherwise. I'm not going to be able to upgrade anything. Um, okay, I guess we leave? What else are we supposed to do? Yeah, it says to check for clues, but... Is that not everything? I don't even see an X around anything in here anymore. Okay, triangle goals. Figure out where Nightingale went. How am I supposed to figure that out? Am I supposed to use her magic powers? <laughs> She just knows everything somehow. There must be something I'm missing. Nightingale only victim become murder. I mean, monster. Why? Oh. Oh, is this the one I'm supposed to be looking at now? Then. Oh, I have more stuff to put up. Nightingale had to pursue. Saga had to pursue Nightingale. Um. Oh wait, is that that? Hmm. Finding a way in would be difficult. Well, I feel like that should be under here. Yeah, it is. And then Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. 
Well, see, that seems like everything. Oh, now we can say let's go back to Cauldron Lake. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Before anyone else gets hurt, we almost died. How are we supposed to save anybody? What is happening? We we heard gunshots, y'all okay? No! Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Dude, Nightingale turned into some this. sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. Oh, he's like, what happened? Like, you see the dead body right there. And clearly, it's not we just got spooked. <laughs> but that's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. We're trying to figure out the same thing. <laughs> well, yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean? The, the Ooh, what's in here? Disappeared. I put Can't open this with my bare hands. Magic's not real. We can't use any key to open anything. <laughs> Ooh, we missed this all. Is this ammo? Or are these batteries? I think those are batteries. Hmm, it's a good thing I came in here. Some, some stuff. Okay, let me not snoop before I get caught. <laughs> okay. Well, now I want to see. Is there anything in this door? Oh, no, this is the one that's locked. Okay. What is Casey doing? He's just standing there. I mean, May Casey's in on this. He's a little strange. <laughs> I don't think so, though, honestly. I mean, she did joke. Huh, I wonder if that was a hint. She did joke in the beginning and said something like, Oh, what, what if you're, like, part of it or something? They're a fine pair. Who's a fine pair? Oh, the cops? Okay, well, let's get Adel. I don't know why we're trying to go back. Oh, dear. Intertours. I'm a tourist. And it appears that I'm lost in the woods. You've only had a tour guide also. It's bear season. What is this? Oh no, a bear. <laughs> oh no, a bear. <laughs> Help. Wow. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh my oh, god. Oh wow. <laughs> Coscola Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences. At affordable prices. Why does he look familiar? That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskela, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has That's not the one that plays Alan Wake, is it? To many local like with a wig. That is true, Yako. Many local I don't know. <laughs> best off by but yeah, I genuinely don't know why, why we're trying to go to... My client What's it called? Here long enough. Nightingale Lake. and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared just in case things now. escalate more than they already yeah, have. Yeah, just a bit. That's my thing. Can you thing. call it in, Casey? The smart we need backup. Anderson. It was enough just going in as yeah, Agent Casey Alan here. Wake, little yeah. cops. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. Yeah, we have backup ASAP. as an option. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. I don't know, he says they're not playing us, but at the same time, they're literally writing the future. Like, don't you think that's strange? Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. Okay. It's a little boring of a saying. I thought it was gonna rhyme or something. <laughs> It'd been funny, funnier if it was like Mayor Setter won't settle on the issues. I don't know. I mean, that's pretty corny too. <laughs> it's so funny. Like this game is like very cozy because of the fact that like you know, look at it. It's like a nice little old town, and it's got nice graphics and it's autumnal. But at the same time, we're dealing with like a monster that just came back to life and killed us, <laughs> or tried to, I guess. Okay, let's go back to the lake now. Which I don't know why we're, we're going looking for trouble, but I guess that's what happens when you're a cop. You have to go look for 
where the criminal I is. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer. Is it Alan Wake? Alan Wake. Hey! Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. Mm. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. Okay. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. You know? You know, he's already had experience with this murder cult business. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> Whose truck is that, though? Chapter 2. Well, this is Return to the Heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. Yeah, I'm like, oh, what? I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. I'll, I'll the writer of these pages knows what will happen. I'll let him leave because the way. they're behind this, Got or because they can see what's coming. That last, the last time. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. It's so funny being here. I need to understand this strange logic. And daytime now. To see the clues. To solve the case. Is she talking to herself, or could he hear her? It's so funny. It's so much. It looks so much more inviting in the daytime than when we're here. All cloudy and rainy. <clears throat> Just please do not feed the wildlife. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? Yeah. In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Oh, so who are they? They weren't here the last time we were here. Can we talk to them? Hey. Hello. Hello there. How are you folks doing? Not too great. Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? Mm. Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Il Mokoska. Oh, he's one from the video. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. Oh. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? That's definitely not the dude from. <laughs> that's definitely not Alan Wake. It looks nothing like him. Okay, well let's 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 put the gun away. How do I put that away? Okay, there we go. Let's talk to him. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> <laughs> Looks Nordic. I said it. I bet a family member Looks made like it. Looks like a Christmas sweater. Well, we'll tell my mother made My it. mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. <laughs> Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Ah, it's a f Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan Pirkka. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. Ah, I don't okay. know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Ah, so that's why we have an interesting name, Saga. It's a Swedish name. 
How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World amusement park. There's Coffee World? Sauna, Sauna da Vista. <laughs> <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. <laughs> yeah, what's up with this Federal Bureau of Control? Steven, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. That's suspicious. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. <laughs> yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Well, I see them. <laughs> can not run through a garbage can. All right, well then, bye. That's all for now. I want to see a big raccoon with big teeth. <laughs> Let's get to the murder site, Casey. Yeah, come on, Casey. Just chit chatting with. What's his name? Ilam Ilamo. Ilamo. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. One thing. Breaker's disappearance. One thing, Ev. I don't get the feeling this. Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them, or was protecting him from Nightingale? Mm. Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally yeah, see. Yeah, not one in right thin air. Oh, how one thing's bothering her from this. That's it. Just one thing. Not the fact that somebody came back to life, or the fact that he had his heart ripped out. <laughs> Just the fact that... Was it Booker? Baker? Our crime scenes drowning. These are good names, but geez. I never minded rain. Feels like cold. No sign of a nightingale. Oh, there's the symbol. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. I don't want to follow him there. <laughs> and wherever he's overlapped off to, let's leave him there. Maybe something here will tell us. Well, let's talk to him. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. <laughs> Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. <sighs> The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved. Why? Forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind mm -hmm. it. We need to look around. Learn what this ritual is. I don't want I don't want to be involved with this. I don't even want to be investigating We've it. We've seen this symbol before. Yeah, it's the same as the mm. necklace that they Good found. Eye. I noticed that when we came in. I don't know if there's anything else to explore, so let me put the clues on here. Okay. We need the Cult of the Tree. Yeah, this is the same as the necklace piece. Yeah, they match. What's this? Is this the same thing we just listened to? Right? Okay, yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> the television. Oh my goodness. This is what it is. Hey, I hope we can add those on there. Um. Is there anything else that we're supposed to find over here? You know, Casey doesn't really do anything in this game, <laughs> he just stands there. The only thing I'll thank him for is helping us find our way, because most of the time I get lost in like three seconds. But other than that, what do you do? Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Ignore. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, Casey? The rockets outside. Just in case. <laughs> On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Which is kind of crazy. It's four, almost five in the morning. <laughs> okay. I totally miss what we're supposed to be doing because of the noise. We're we supposed to be doing track Nightingale at Cauldron Lake. Okay, we're supposed to follow this trail. 
We're following his trail by ourselves? Are we crazy? Casey, come hither. <laughs> okay, it looks like they're going this way. Why are they black? Like, what did he step in? Or is it like mud? What was that? Oh no. Why is the music picking up? We pull out our gun already. We have 19 bullets, so that's a good thing. Oh. Also, like, why are his footprints glowing? They're not glowing. I don't even know how to describe what's happening. It also just conveniently started raining, and now it's darker outside. I don't like that. Not one bit. I hearing noises. What is? I genuinely don't know how she's doing this. There'd be no way I'd be going out here by myself. I'd the tracks like, lead into the water. You're coming with me. Where'd you go from here? I don't know. I'm oh my god! I can feel something. The presence. <gasps> oh yay yay! Nightingale isn't far. <sighs> okay, let me breathe. That made that startled me. <laughs> Okay, let me see cases. We need the murdered cauldron lake one. Okay. Footprints leading into the forest. What are we. Yeah, we need it for where he go. Okay. And then what's this? Profiling. Oh, okay. We got a new profiling for him. The overlap. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place. And the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold. What is that? Like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. Oh, is that the big tree we're at? Explore the witch's ladle area. Is that where we are? No, we have to go backward then, right? Down here is the witch's ladle. Follow Nightingale's trail and explore the, witch in the witch's ladle area. His trail stops here, though. Oh, no. These are those little boxes that have the batteries and stuff inside of it. Uh oh, is that healing? I don't know how we get to our gear. Hold on a second. Let me look at the controls. Yeah, how do we look at our gear? Inventory is triangle. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Inventory is triangle. Yeah, it's a trauma pad. Oh, no. The fact that they're giving us this now makes me concerned. We're gonna need it. Okay. This Witchfinder Station, but we need witch the Witch's Ladle area. Let's be exploring that. I'd appreciate it if Did you hear that rustling. I'd appreciate it if nothing else jumped out at us. Or no other <laughs> jump scares. I have to get some sleep, you know. I think we have to go back to the witch's ladle area. Oh, this is taking us closer to the witch's ladle. I don't really want to get closer, but... Oh, no. No, thank you. There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet, there are many mysteries, mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. Okay... I don't like any of that. Good thing I have my cat in my room with me. <laughs> Keep me company. Oh lord, what is that? What is that? That's what I just said. Seems like these aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. Oh, no. You can toggle the flashlight boost. Oh no. To increase damage to darkness. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. Not this again. The fuse was in place. 
Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. Like the witch's them. hut. Okay. Wait, the witch's hut had... I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Isn't the witch's hut where we just came from? Yeah, we gotta go way back there. I think that's where Casey was. But let's add some stuff to our little case board first. No, 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 no. I want to go to the case board. Okay, there we go. Um, and Gail's trail led to another page. I guess that's here. Yeah, the witch's hut, question mark. Hey, what was that down here? The fuse was in place. She had found it in a... In, Found it among the junk in the forest. I don't know if that's under here, under which is hot. I guess I don't think that's under any of this either. I think that's all completed. That's why it's not yellow. Okay. Okay. And then the bright light could not. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> I can't talk. I mean, a bright light. Nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to saw. Okay, we already heard this, so yeah. I guess it's still part of this. Light is the key. Yeah. To stay safe. But for something more to be revealed as well. I think I want the tree into some other place. Okay, we need to put this here. Is Witch's Ladle the doorway into the overlap? Witch's Ladle so, tree is doorway. Ritual required? That's where I'll find Nightingale. I don't want to find him. That's where you're getting confused, ma'am. <laughs> I don't want to find that man. I need to find the Witch's Hut. Wait, they... All right, well, I guess we gotta go back where we came, I guess? Listen, I thought I saw something in the woods. Like what? Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay, I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. Uh, she's just too calm for me. Oh, wait, I'm way past it. Jeez, okay. This is the witch's hut. Okay, yeah. What was that? Oh, it was the door, okay. Whew. No, it's like, what was that? Oh, this is the fuse. The fuse box is missing a fuse. Oh. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Where's to find a little tiny fuse like that? Oh, this is this. Oh, this would have had to come here anyway. This is where we found the little lunchbox. This fuse is busted. Of course it is. Whenever, there's a, whenever something's right there for you, it's never the working one. <laughs> In a video game, at least. Why am I hearing these sounds? This is the journal we already looked at, right? Yeah. Okay. Is there no working fuge? Fuge? <gasps> this is what happens when I play this games when I'm good. tired. <laughs> People should really stop littering, though. Okay. I can't even speak. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get on over there. Let's, let's not... Let's not dilly-daddle. Dilly-daddle? Dilly dilly daddle? Is that how it is? It's probably some of you who don't even know what I'm talking about altogether. <laughs> okay, now we have to investigate the witch's hut. Is that not what is the witch's hut? Is that just this little area we're in? Guess we go in the house now. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. The break room is a place where you can save your progress. Okay. Yeah, let's close that door on up. Turn off our flashlight. Stop using our battery. <laughs> All right. Another page. Oh no. <laughs> Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. I don't like that he said we approached the witch. Like, I don't- I don't want to approach the witch. I don't want to see any witch. Okay, let's get more ammo. Can never have too much of that. Um, let's do a quick save real quick. Or I'll do a manual save, actually. I've played two hours and five minutes already, okay. Um, alright, let's check out our cold case. Is that what it's called? Cold case? I don't know. You can tell I'm not a detective. <laughs> alright, what do we have? We found Cauldron Lake's Witch hut. Oh, that's a new the thing. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Okay. What is the ritual? Question mark. Which is ladle? 
towering over Saga, watching her and the witch. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Okay. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. So he didn't take his heart. Where is it now? Somebody wants it. She squinted to read the smudge line on the heart. The second part recited from memory, I bought you the heart, which... Oh, okay. I guess... <clears throat> yeah, I was like, I didn't think that should be under there. It's almost like it's fighting me sometimes where to put it. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. No, we don't. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. So we're just playing with his heart? Give witch heart, recite words, which equals witch's ladle sign, whereas heart words illegible. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I guess we have another profiling thing to do for him. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. Who said I don't said have that? what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Okay, now there's another profiling. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile. They played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. Yo. I, it's like, she has some kind of tie to, like, the supernatural. I need to check the general store for the heart. Because, like, otherwise... Casey! I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I... Followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. Mm -hmm. The years I spent with my ex wife. No. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Regardless of what he may think, your wife, your ex wife, is not a monster that can kill you. Okay, so I'm gonna go the other way around. The game says don't forget to save often. We don't have all these little. Homes to go into, don't do we often? Make sure I'm going the right way before I just start walking. I don't understand why his heart is in a fridge. What was that noise? Do you hear that? Nightingale mentioned the general store. I need to check it out. It sounds like somebody was breaking something. Oh no. Funny, we, we, we visited this place earlier. So I was being nosy, but I don't think we're alone here now. I feel like I'm hearing some twigs and snap, crackles and pops. Okay. Let's go inside. Hopefully it's empty in here. Yeah, see now the door is boarded up. That was not here before. Oh, God. I guess we are checked out. Oh, no. I swear this wasn't here. How am I supposed to get over there now? Oh, I think we gotta go through the other side now, huh? I swear I hear somebody, like, creaking around. Let's close this door. I need nothing coming in here. Yeah, what is that sound? I'm really hoping it's like a rat. Oh, God. It's funny, our battery runs out so much slower in this game. Oh, my God. What is that? Oh, my God. The ear? Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> like, what is- <gasps> What is that? Toggle flashlight boost to burn the darkness around the enemy. Oh god, I'm missing the shots already. Oh my god, reload! Okay. Using a trauma pad will allow you to heal. Applying a trauma pad takes longer, but grants a larger health benefit. We didn't get it damaged, did we? Is that our health? Or I, I'm just a little confused whether that little circle at the bottom here is our health. Or... Okay, I think... Oh, okay, that is our health. How do we... 
Ooh. Oh, I was like, how do we get damage? I guess when he blew through the wall. Which, how on earth did he even do that? Okay, give me a little bit of a heart attack, but we're good now. <laughs> so the cultists are monsters, too. Okay. I don't think there's anything in here for me to collect, huh? Which kind of sucks, because I just used my bullets on that dude. But let's find the fridge with the heart in it. <laughs> So funny when you're playing certain games, it will just have you saying the funniest stuff. Wait, is it a new gun? Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Was there a code or something in there that we could have found? Or is it in this little pack? Oh, we got more things we can hold now. Okay. Oh, wait, I want the new gun at the counter. This is the counter, right? Oh, but I guess there's nobody here. Oh, wait, or is this it? Don't forget, update the code. Oh no. Wait, it's not updated. I don't have a notepad to write all these numbers down to try. <laughs> um, let me get a piece of paper. Hold on. I'm gonna put down the old codes anyway, because you never know. I don't think we can use the lottery numbers, but let's try the other ones that we found. See if we can get us a new gun. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, no, it is three numbers. Okay. So they already have 723 on here. So that didn't work, so let me cross that off now. So let's try 717. And let's try 713. Okay. Okay, and the last one I have on my thing is 202. Why isn't this working? These numbers match the ones on the lotto ticket. What numbers match the ones on the lotto ticket? Oh, I see. Oh, it's seven, seven, and they're adding the last one. So the last ones are seven, three, nine, and then seven, four, five. Okay, let's try that then. So the top one is seven, no matter what. So we've got seven, four, five, let's try that. Okay, and we got seven, three, nine. There we go. There we go. We got a new gun. It's like a shotgun kind of a, a thing. You can quick, quick slot weapons from the inventory. You can also quick slot healing items and throwable weapons. Okay. Or it's another manuscript. Uh oh, my remote's rumbling. The game is making noise. She didn't read it. She usually reads it. Saga at the general store. Saga edged toward the broken door. Her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Oh, no. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake general store was overgrown. Left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here. Waiting. Planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. <laughs> like it was just another late night poker game. Oh, so that was their stuff. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face oh, with a cultist. Oh, this is what literally just happened. A hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. An axe in his raised hand. Oh, that's kind of funny. This time it's not the future. This is the past now. Because <laughs> we already killed him. What is this? Painkiller. Okay. All right, we gotta burn the darkness away. Get his nasty heart out the fridge. The text on the heart is clearer now. The wave Legible. crashed on the far side of the mirror. Okay. Okay, let's check out the case board. Words in the heart are not eligible. Okay, we put that here. And then... Sounds literary. But what does it mean? I don't want to know. And the heart is in the general store. Okay, so we have to perform the ritual to the open the overlap. Check the general store for the heart. Okay, we already found the heart. Why are we checking the general store for the heart? Are we not taking it? Yo, looks so gross written on it. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. Yo. I knew it would be here. Dangling. Like I saw it in a dream. Ma'am, you see everything. Okay, we have Nightingale's heart. And now heart. I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Oh no, now we have to give the heart to the witch.
Okay, I'm gonna end this part right here, and I guess my cat Daisy would like to say hello, Muppet. She's not paying me any mind. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play part two of Alan Wake 2. I will never get used to saying that. I'm honestly barely even able to talk right now because I'm tired and it's literally like five in the morning. It's time for me to go to bed. Uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video and Muffet, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.